Happy Friday. Well, at least that's why I'm recording this. It's Friday. So getting into the weekend. I actually just got home from work. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that little link down in the corner. Give us a thumbs up. Definitely appreciate it. So what's going on for this weekend? All right. So if you watched our video last Monday, you seen that we had weather. <laughs> so um, if you have not seen that, I'll go ahead and throw that link up in the, the corner. I can never remember which corner it is, but it's up there. Go check it out. Um, yeah, snow apocalypse of 2022 because, whoo, man, people up on the East Coast, not necessarily here, but on the East Coast got slammed with some pretty good snow. And there's another system that's coming across. So, I mean, there are states that are seeing record snowfall and then some ice storms and stuff going across. Yeah, it's coming this way and we're going to be getting more rain, possibly sleep, snow, but it's definitely going to be wet regardless. So what I said last weekend was we were going to go get drywall. That way I can start working on the bedroom and the bathrooms or the bedroom and the bathroom. Okay. But for those of you that know and or possibly don't know, you're not going to haul drywall when it's raining because you don't want it to get wet. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be another weekend thwarted, I think, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, I do have some other projects that I need to work on that I've been kind of you know neglecting. Uh, I really don't want to do it, but uh, the shop, the shop really needs to be organized, cleaned, uh, getting stuff separated out of what I'm keeping, what I'm not. And then all of my blacksmithing stuff that I have outside, I actually need to bring inside and just start breaking that down. So from right now until the time that we pack it up to this summer, I'm not going to be doing any blacksmithing outside in the coal forge. Now, that does not mean that I'm not going to be doing any type of blacksmithing. I do have my propane forge that I do plan to use. Just right now, my shoulder is still not 100%. I am getting better. But it's just, it's not there. Uh, I do have a VA appointment that's coming up uh, next month. But... Uh, I'm just, I'm tired of sleeping in pain and, and just being in pain on the day to day. So I'm probably going to go see my, my regular doctor uh, just to see what he can do. Uh, even though this is part of my VA disability, uh, my shoulder, it's, uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait that long. All right. So we had actually talked about two of uh, some, some great things coming up and we do. So, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been starting to throw out an affiliate link uh, with Isotunes. All right. And so with that, I had actually purchased these uh, Isotune Freeze with my own funds. And I've been using them for a little while and, and whatnot. And I had actually reached out to them about getting the headphones, the, the link headphones for my daughter. And, and this is what we got. So, so yeah, she did end up getting the set of the links. And I know that we've put that in there before. I've done another video uh, with a, a thankful, uh, just giving thanks that they had sent her those uh, headphones. And not only that one set, but actually two sets because the first set broke. And they gave her another set uh, to use. And we've also have been reached out from Isotunes for a blog, for a, a interview of our our daughter, you know, of her use of the Isotunes, basically our, our story of what's going on, her story uh, of what's going on with why I reached out to them and the reasons why we're doing that. So that story is still going to be coming out. It hasn't officially released yet onto the Isotune site. Whenever that does come out, I'm going to put that link uh, to that blog down in the description, uh, probably even down in the top comment. I'll uh, pin it to the top. Um, 
as of right now, of recording this, so this is Friday. It's the the fourth. It, it hasn't been released yet. So, if it does happen to by this weekend or before this, because I'm this, it's coming out. You're seeing this on Monday. That, as of right now, it hasn't popped out. But it's going to be the story of of Anaya, of her uh, autism. Uh, just a little backstory on that, and then also the reasons why of we reached out to Isotunes uh, for her to have the earmuffs, and they're they've been kind of going through and doing uh, these side stories of reaching out or basically of people that are using their product other than hearing protection. So if you did not know, Isotunes is actually an OSHA approved hearing protection um, that is also Bluetooth. Now, along with that, uh, every single cent that we make from our affiliate link, 100% of it uh, goes right back into the autistic community through one of the charities that we choose. So we don't we don't necessarily do the exact same one every time. It either will be a local one here where we are at or one that's uh, nationally known. But we do use uh, one of the charity navigators uh, to go through and actually look at all the numbers and, and based off of the data of where our money is going, we try to base it off of that. So that way we know that's actually going towards research or it's going towards something other than the CEO's pocket. So what else is going on? The build that we plan to do is actually getting a little more uh, solid. So I know that we've actually posted a few pictures like on our Instagram and Facebook of what we plan to do whenever we move. So, and if you're new here and you don't know our journey, we are currently living in Virginia in the Tidewater region. So over here on the beach, and we plan to move to Arkansas this summer, uh, roughly July-ish timeframe. But before we actually move to Arkansas, we're going, we're going to be going to Missouri first in our trailer and we're actually going to be staying at my mom's for a little bit. And then from there, while we are there, we can actually physically go look at property in person without having to do it over the phone or over a computer. But here's actually some of the drawings. So, and also to let you guys know, if you did not know, is this isn't going to be only us uh, living on a property. Actually, my mom and my grandma are going to be selling the property in Missouri to, to move and live on our property, along with Gladys's mom and dad are going to be coming up from Texas, and they will also be living on the property. So as of right now, my mom and grandma more than likely is going to be doing a type of either cabin, a wood, a wood cabin kit, or a barn dominium. Uh, I'm trying to push her a little more towards the barn dominium because it'd be a little easier for us to build. <laughs> Because this is something that we are going to be building, not necessarily uh, hiring someone to come out and do that. And then for uh, mom and dad, uh, Gladys's mom and dad, they are looking more into a shed to home. So we're going to be getting a 16 by 40, possibly, uh, shed. Because they're going to be a little tighter on funds. Uh, so that's something that is, is a little more easily available right off the bat. That way they can they can come in, uh, get that put in, and and just start working on it right away. Um, basically, as they as they can. Okay, so this this is one of the things that we are going to help with uh, on that as well, doing a shed to home and getting that put in. And one of the the biggest things too with that is once the shed is in place on the property then we can also get power to the property because we don't plan on uh, going off grid, not for uh, a while. We, we do want to do that eventually, but we want to get all the systems in place of going off grid, you know, first. Um, <clears throat> so we do, we do plan on being, you know, hooked up to power. Uh, we're obviously going to have to dig a well, going to have to do all the septic type stuff, but we do plan on getting some type of power ran to the property. 
Now, one of the other things too with the, the property is we are trying to be in a specific area because we do have needs, uh, obviously with the little one. And I'm also going to throw down in the description, it's a GoFundMe for our daughter to be able to get a service puppy or a service dog. So as of right now, she is autistic uh, and she also has the Williamson's disease uh, that affects her heart. Her heart is different than anybody else type thing. And she is also prone to seizures. And this has been going on ever since she was an uh, infant to infant. And as of right now, she does have medications for that that do help. But she starts to outgrow the medication. And with that, having the, the dog that can sense that, it's going to be a little easier for us, especially with moving uh, to where if we're not able to keep an eye on her physically 24-7, then we will have the dog there to give us that little peace of mind. Thing is with that, the, the training of those dogs are right around like fifteen to $30,000 and we don't have that. So we're asking for y'all's help. But I will post that uh, GoFundMe uh, down in the description. Please check it out. Even if you cannot donate, uh, please share it out to your friends and family. Uh, we're even asking, even if you can only donate a dollar, uh, that is uh, perfectly fine. Because if we can get 30,000 people to donate one dollar, then we'll reach our goal. All right. So for those of you that are actually dying to kind of see what we plan on doing for our home, our cabin build, which is not necessarily a cabin, it's more of a hacienda. So let's check it out. All right, so hopefully you can see this. Uh, as of right now, I just have a little drawing. Uh, actually, this one Gladys did. So she's actually been doing a lot, lot better of doing these drawings with the way that I've shown her how to do it. So... Here in the, the center, you can see we have a post, a post, a post, a post. All right, so that whole center area is actually a timber frame that's going to be uh, vaulted ceilings, all the exposed uh, beams for that. So that is obviously the, the living room. This is our, our couch that we have here. There's going to be desks behind it. And then this is a little island slash uh, table. So, and that's going to have... Um, Probably not the dishwasher. That's probably going to be more of the stove there because I, I want to have the dishwasher next to the sink. Uh, so we will probably end up switching uh, those things around. But then coming over into the uh, laundry slash utility slash mudroom, right, there's little cubbies. There's going to be a deep sink, a little shower uh, right in there. Uh, there's going to be an, actually a door right here and and such. Uh, there's coming down uh, into the uh, master bath a closet here. We have the master bedroom. And some of these are actually going to be uh, pocket doors that are in that uh, along with the girls rooms. So, But these um, rooms on this side or the buildings on that side is going to be more of the stucco um, outside. So it's going to have a uh, that hacienda look, which I'll show some pictures of, of kind of like what we were thinking. And then these are hallways. Uh, the hallways are going to have uh, windows uh, down the hallway, let in a lot of light. There'll be a window down here at the end. Uh, same thing on both sides. But this whole area is also going to be like a covered porch so, and it's going to have the um, archways in brick uh, on that. That way, there's going to be a big uh, door here, a couple arch windows on either side of the door, let in a lot of light. Um, obviously, on the other side, uh, we will have uh, some of the, the different types of doors, architectures uh, that kind of goes along with everything. We might even put like another. Um, door to this side we don't know yet but let us know what you think hopefully you can see this okay i don't have anything drawn up on the computer at least not yet uh, as of right now i don't have any type of software to be able to do that so if anybody out there wants to give us a hand then uh 
shoot us an email to ivies.family.factotum at gmail.com. Uh, that is also down in the description. And let us know, and uh, we'll shoot you some dimensions, and uh, you can give us a hand. Be greatly appreciated. But then, uh, the little courtyard and everything down here, we, we do plan on putting like some type of uh, fence that's going to be going around this that will open that up a little bit with like another uh, big door uh, down here that is in the Hacienda style that actually closes off the courtyard. So let us know what you think, if you can see that okay. Yeah, so, and this is just like a little uh, rudimentary, rudiment, that word, um, of kind of like what it would look like from the front. All right, so the, the roof up here is actually taller because these walls over here are, are just straight all the way up here to the top, flat. It might even have like a little uh, mission style over here in the corner to where it lift up a little bit. But the roof on the inside, it's not necessarily a flat roof. It's considered a flat roof, but it's sloped uh, to the side. And it has little drains that are up there or little scuppers that allows water to come off the side. Um, or we can have it to where there's a drain installed up there to be able to get all that water to come out um, the side, but all of this building and this building will be stucco. The archway, I didn't, I didn't build in archways to these pillars, but there's, there's going to be like a brick archway, brick archway, brick archway. In there, these were the hallways, right? And then it shows the little overhang roof, um, here. But all of the center building is going to be board and batten. So it's going to be a mixture of stuff. <laughs> so I, but I think it's going to look okay. Give us y'all's opinion and what you think it is. Um, but yeah, we, we can't wait. We're kind of chomping at the bit. We're ready to get packed up and going. But the girls still need to finish school. We still need to pay a few more bills. Still need to find transportation for the trailer because I don't have a truck that will pull it. Not yet. Um, so, Uncle, if you're watching this, hey, <laughs> we need your help. That's all we're going to have for you this week. Uh, like I said, we, we are posting a, a minimum of one video per week coming out Mondays, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's all we can really uh, do for right now because I do work full time. And uh, yeah, if I'm able to get some projects done this weekend, then I'll definitely get those uh, put up and hopefully we can have a video pop out for Friday as well. But all right, y'all, make sure you're checking all the links down in the description. Give us that thumbs up, share us out to your friends. Give us that subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you for sticking around this long. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.